Chris Dunn replaces Zach Levine in the starting five. Wendell Carter Jr., the man of Duke. Laurie Markkinen. And Somebody in, that's an offensive player into a passer. Markkinen with the game-winning bucket. The United Center is Paul George. Lines up a three and not shooting almost 50%. There is Wendell Carter Jr. popped out. Chris Dunn trying to spin away from Ferguson. Nice move for Ryan Archie Diacono handling the point for the Bulls. Marketing so tough to defend. Oh, seen the inside game. Left himself. Now dumps it right back to Adams. Adams missed the initial shot. Out to Marketing. Holiday in the corner, hand in the face. Didn't matter. As he continues to trust, or do we stop Stephen Adams? Dunn slips it. Carter Jr. Close. But done most of his damage on the defensive end. Jeremy Grant muscled it up. And right there again. To come over and contest that holiday shot. Ball swings around to the corner. Ferguson missed his first. Running, actually. Again, it's done and done. Blair as marketing pinballs that one in and out. Adams got behind the defense. And well, the first time that we saw that really be effective was against the Utah Jazz. Not that long ago as Westbrook looks for a seam, finds the seam and gets it up. For the officials after the replay, I agree with you. Wouldn't have even been a review 10 years ago as Paul George is no good on that mid-range jumper. Now Westbrook surveys the floor, got to the rim, lays it up and in. Sort of the escort there for Russell Westbrook. Counter three by the balls, and that is Portis. Uh, I love that play because Steve Adams is rim running, right? And he just says, all right, I'm not going to get it, but I'm going to free up something for my teammate. There's Abrinas and Patterson also in here late in the first quarter. Abrinas wants the three and got the three. Main. Man, that's good defense. Uh, Dennis Schroeder on ball. Steven Adams rim running again. Deep catch. Flips it up and in. And that pass got deflected. Payne got his hand in the passing lane. Hutchison is in, and there is Portis. I'm learning. I'm never too old. Oh, no, you know, you know what a shimmy is. I know what a shimmy is. You got that move in. I know you got that move in your toolbox. <laughs> in the Western Conference, this game against Chicago, the only one that's not. Thunder have done a great job with coming out of a time. Once again, the timer low at four. Payne trying to size up Nerlens Noel. Crosses up, got to the rim, and a nifty move. The size up the Thunder big man. That's good defense just at the end there. Had that mismatch that he took advantage of. And Dennis Schroeder finds his rhythm. Lopez got away with a travel. Man, he changed pivot feet. He did. Officials did. Uh, flip that script as you did that first quarter if you yeah, go under. Where's that shot chart, my man? <laughs> Michael and I want to take a look. Just to see. Dunn got the crossover. Marketing pushes it up, no good. And a battle for the rebound. Marketing comes him up with it and to complete that pass. Well, it's certainly no mystery what the intention is, is Dunn scoops it up and that time Westbrook. Stepped right into the passing lane in front of Marketing. Now the lob! Jeremy Grant caught it! Going pretty hard, too. And now the steal. Thunder want to get out. Stepping into a three is George, and he buries it. He's become more consistent. Two factors. He works hard, and the second one is that guys around him believe in him. And Brooking to the rebound. He's got eight so far in this first half. Leaves it off to George. Thought about that three instead. Spins on Archie Diacono. And the I thought it was the top of the backboard, it, the, the way that it popped up. Did you say smooth? Pass. It, it was a pass, and as Wendell Carter Jr. tried to get it over the top. Uh-oh. Legs out. Man. Now Payne dishes it. Carter able to slip it. George again, this time fires it to Adams, but it was a line drive. Adams keeps the possession alive. George. Uh -oh. Under a minute to go in half number one. Marketing as Westbrook ran into Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant to take the ball out, but he didn't want to get it out of bounds. 
the trip was official, knew what he was doing. It's Westbrook by Shots to do here already with 20 in the first half. Holiday, good defensive player on him. I got the right guy for the basketball. Got to the rim. Cannon in the foul. Well, this Bulls team did not shoot it well from three-point land. Grant! There's exactly at the night at 23. Thunder certainly knocking down free throws tonight. Turn around by Markin and his coming up. There's the Bulls trying to go inside again. Good pass by Russell Westbrook. Wow. The ball is, it never came. Oh, they're just not blowing the whistle right now. And, you know, it's because Steven doesn't complain. I mean, they don't say anything. I've seen Westbrook and George get double teamed more in the post up tonight, I think, than any other. Yes, it is. There's the left hand this time. Grant cutting across the lane and flushed that shot a little bit. Great, great, great recovery by T. Furley. Adams spins, and he has the two hands. Just made an authoritative move and flushed it. Well, that kind of play is reminiscent of what Steven Adams did to another player from Arizona, DeAndre Ayton. And are operating in a short clock. Thunder want to play good defense under five seconds. There's Portis spinning, and that's going to keep, keep springing free. Tracked down by George. Right back to Westbrook. Another fit, and another finish for... Turnaround shot. That one's good. Certainly won't result in more free throws at a later date. And there is a three for Chicago. George pulls it back out. Now Grant drives and finishes. One assists away from a triple-double, but another five-steal game after the six that he had against the Clippers on Saturday night as a bring to Passing the basketball. Payne had the step. The last team to lose to a team that was under 500. That was the Bulls in Chicago. And Schroeder, nice. We know what he can do. Now Markin is trying to clean up the miss. Ball pops up right into his own game. Rody starting in Sacramento against the Kings on Wednesday night. And dropping up against Utah. So little work to be done here. How about that and what just happened? They've been doing it since the preseason. And that drive and finish. Shooter wants to pull it back and run something. Got the pass to Patterson. Now he's out. Oh, right back to the... Bobby Portis now in the post. A series of moves and it works. Now Westbrook's got the clear out on the left side of the floor. And there's the bank. Send him left. Russ, I'm going left, but I'm going to bank it. No chance. And Westbrook up ahead. Diallo. Oh, how did he spin it in? Yes. It was about as high as it gets now. The Thunder collapse. Forced the turnover. Westbrook dishes it off, and there is Patterson. Well, now here with just under six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Quite the different game unfolding. In Abrinas was calling for it. Shooter gets bumped on the head. And he will go to Still five minutes to go. Patterson. No, but Diallo. All right, let's check in with Leslie. Well, guys, anytime you talk to Billy Donovan about New Orleans Noel, the first thing he'll tell you is that he has <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tell you, he caught all our eyes in the early part of the season. The ball moved by the Bulls. Oh, all right. Teams yeah. that finish with bad records get. That's one thing the Thunder are known for, is developing their talent. And they are very good at draft. Oh, I thought he got bumped. He did. A lot of contact. Checking the tape. Launching the three. Hutchison. Especially the Thunder coming off of six games, well, four games in six days. I like that. Abdul Nader just... And the Thunder... Will come out of here with its second consecutive win. And that'll do it. 121-96, our final. And the Thunder now two in a row. Paul George leading all scores with 24. Another triple-double for Russell Westbrook.